Hey guys, my name's Gene. I'm a graphic designer and an illustrator, and I've been in the business for about 15 years. And for 30 years before that, I was a mighty button plant hunter. I went on safari into jungles all over Africa, trying to find the legendary button plant. And I did this because, I don't know if you know this, but buttons are like a delicacy in some foreign country. Now, a button plant basically looks like a regular plant, except instead of berries, they have buttons. Now, let me tell you something. When you're really hungry, it is very, very um, not tasty at all to eat buttons instead of berries. So, you have these long sort of stalks that come out of the ground, and they branch off a little bit, right? So, they branch off and uh, a little bit more they branch off, bam, bam, here's another branch, bam, there are branches everywhere. And they have little tiny leaves, Whoosh, that was a backwards leaf, it really should go like this. That's right, you have to whistle when you do the, the leaves. Okay, so they have a bunch of leaves on them, okay? But the crazy thing is, you see all these branches here? They go like this, and they have little wiry branches. Now, on each of these wiry branches, there are buttons. And you just walk up to the buttons and you eat them. So, here's what we're going to do. If uh, I can find my scissors, there they are. Trusty safety scissors. Um, we're going to cut out the basic plant. Complete with all the branches. Boom, 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 the branch. So, we're going to take our trusty glue stick that only works half the time. And we're gonna glue it here. And then, let's talk about the direction and the formation of these buttons. Now I'm just gonna put my glue stick here, and I'm gonna, one at a time, starting with the bigger buttons. Come on, glue, there you go. Starting with the bigger buttons. The bigger buttons are always gonna be closer to the base. So I'm gonna take the bigger buttons and just smush them right in, work it around a little bit. Uh, we're gonna try and make little curved triangle formations because it's going to be a group of berries together and if you've ever seen like grapes holy cow that's a lot of glue you ever seen grapes in a bunch and you hold on to them and they hang down it's kind of like um, a curved triangle so that's exactly what we're going to do here little curved triangle and by the way don't eat these buttons these are just for show uh, you might be able to find edible buttons, that'd be pretty cool, but probably you don't want to put these in your mouth. So anybody who is under the age of like, I'm even going to go on a limb here, I'm going to say uh, 23. If you're under 23 years old, definitely you want to do this around your parents because they're going to be able to tell you whether or not you'd be eating these buttons. And the answer is probably no. At least that's what my mom always told me. She's like, I was like, Mom, can I eat some of these buttons? Of course, the buttons I was talking about were always the ones that were like on my shirt. Like I'd look down and they'd be blue and they'd look like a blueberry. And I'd be like, oh man, I bet that tastes like a blueberry. And my mom would say like, no, that doesn't taste like a blueberry. And that would just sound so strange to me. And then I'd reach down and I'd eat the buttons anyway because they just look so tasty. And I ended up breaking a tooth. There you go. So there is the button plant. Now, probably nobody but me on earth has ever seen it, but now you guys have seen it. That is what a button plant looks like. Take this, do two or three more on the other branches, and don't eat any of the buttons because there's nothing that you want to button together inside your stomach. So there you have it. All you need now is your safari hat and a spear, and you too can go button plant hunting. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll see you next time.